another casualty of Yemen's war. This tanker floating off the northern coast is leaking fuel into the Red Sea. There are 1.2 million barrels on board. And Houthis, which want the diesel unloaded, are appealing for international help. If the leakage continues, the problem will be beyond the capability of the world community. We blame the Saudi-led aggression on our country, as they have refused to allow us to unload the shipment and pay the monthly salaries of public employees, as agreed during the Sweden peace accord. There are fears the ship could erode and explode, and experts are warning the ongoing oil spill could have a lasting impact on the marine environment. The Gulf of the Red Sea has two unique kinds of mangrove that do not exist in any place around the world. The oil will block the sunlight from reaching sea plants, including coral reefs and other fish. The port of Ras Isa was first targeted by the Saudi UAE-led coalition in 2016, when an attempt was made to unload the shipment of oil. Eight workers were killed. The port was targeted again in November 2019. The ship's been deteriorating ever since. Both sides claim their control of the tanker, and there is a battle over who profits from its oil. Fuel is in short supply and is desperately needed not only for cars, but also for water pumps, hospital generators, and even to transport goods all around the country. Hamad Al Jazeera, Sana'a.